hello guys welcome back to the channel nora evans here so today i'll be talking about 10 skills that you should learn before traveling abroad like these skills are very important and you some of you might like already have these skills and it might not be a problem for you but personally i feel you should know or have or learn these skills before moving abroad whatever country it is that you want to move to okay i mean even in your in your country the country that you currently are in you should have these skills or at least learn them because it's going to help you like it's going to go a long way in helping you like um leave and just have a good life in general okay so first on my list is time management hmm so although this list is like in no particular order as usual so time management is the first on my list and i still struggle in this part i still i still struggle but you need to learn how to manage your time effectively you need to know like manage or oh, time for work you need to like set out time for these things time for work time for i mean personal um time to yourself time for school time for anything time for working you know just have learn how to manage your time properly so you're not doing things you're not wasting time because guys time waits for nobody and time is very expensive trust me because i just i kind of like just understand time right now because some there are times that you just want to do some things and you don't have enough time to do those things and you just you just wish that the time could just wait for you but of course time waits for nobody so you need to learn if you don't already know how to you need to learn how to manage time you need to you know you need to know learn time management okay uh the second thing on my list is cooking yeah if you're going to survive abroad you need to learn how to cook i cannot like overemphasize on this because if you want to be getting food outside like fast food and all of that you're going to spend a lot of money and you guys i'm all about money management i love to manage money i love to save money i love to get like you know things that are like kind of like affordable i love like i just love managing um money saving money actually so if you cook at home you save a lot of money trust me because groceries tomatoes and all of that all those grocery stuff i mean if you use it to cook you're going to be saving a whole lot of money i see all you guys on um video on cost of living here in finland and it's just crazy because i want to like show you guys like a couple of things i just don't want to tell you guys oh this is this this is this price this is the price for this, this is the price for that okay so um you need to learn how to cook it is very important you need to learn how to make noodles how to make spaghetti how to make potatoes <laughs> you need to learn how to make rice you need to learn how to like cook basic things that you can eat okay you need to learn how to make sandwich you need just learn how to cook and thank god for youtube you can learn i mean where you can learn a lot of things you can learn almost everything there is to learn in this world so learn how to cook okay and save some money all right so um another thing on my list is money management of course you guys know i'm all about money management <laughs> saving money purchasing things that are like kind of like very important that are like of necessity and leaving out things that i don't really need okay yeah so you need to learn how to manage your money like i said like some seconds ago you need to learn how to cook when you learn how to cook you save money you need to learn how to put your money on things that are actually important like your rent groceries um um bus tickets as for transport you know things that are like of really really necessity okay and you need to learn how to budget as well you need to have, learn, have a budget for your money um get your your income you know how what and what your money is going into this way you know you're not spending unnecessarily on things that are not important okay so you need to learn money management me look at me talking about money management i'm still shaking in this part but yeah I, I can i save money a lot i save money i i don't buy things unnecessarily i don't purchase things unnecessarily even things that are like toiletries groceries i, I kind of like plan my 
on, on things i spend money on but i'm still not good at money management so i'm just telling you guys so when you get here you don't like um spend money unnecessarily okay that's the that's the basic point another thing on my list is cycling yeah i think it's the fourth thing i mentioned cycling biking whatever it is you guys call it this is because i mean you need to learn this because it saves you money it saves you money for buses like buses buses because here i pronounce it bus which is like my normal nigerian pronunciation of a bus but here when i say bus nobody understands like the foreigners here the finnish people the ukrainians the russians people here they don't understand bus well, you, boss is like your 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 employer okay so that's why i said bus you understand bus okay so you save money for bus <laughs> it sounds so weird you save money for bus you save money for um yeah literally transportation i know i have a friend here or yeah, a friend here and he's never ever spent a dime on the bus like going to school going to work he has a bicycle and he's sick like he goes with his bicycle everywhere regardless of the distance he, he goes with his bicycle and i can't do that because i mean there are a lot of like hills to climb and all of that so i can't do that but we're in summer and i have been cycling and this is because the bus uh, bus tickets the, the bus timetable rather is kind of like crazy so and i there are times i go out and the buses are not like available so i just get i just got a bicycle and it's been it's been it i mean it's been easy in my movement and I, I just enjoy it it's cool and it helps you keep fit as well okay so yeah you need to learn how to cycle like cycling bicycle biking yeah you need to learn how to do that also um it saves you a lot of stress actually because let's say you don't know how to drive a car it saves you that stress as well okay so of course this leads to i'm going this particular cycling i'm going to put slash driving you should learn how to drive as well drive a car if you can't drive a truck it is very important like they look for these people to employ them people that know how to drive trucks like truck drivers big bus drivers you know all of that so you should learn how to circle you learn how to drive a car it's very important there are some jobs that you get here and you actually need to learn how to drive a car because they probably would give you a, a an office car you get so a work car so if you don't know how to drive a car you'll be like at disadvantage okay so and cycling it saves you money if you cannot afford a car you don't have to drive a car if you don't have the money to like get a car yet you can use cycling like your bike to like go places you want to go to all right the next thing on my list is intercultural communication and language this part i think i'm going to like spend like time here um i think almost everywhere you travel in the world is intercultural i mean you you cannot see people from just one place you can't go to you can't go to the us and see people from just the us or people from canada you see people from all over the world so of course you need to learn how to communicate with people from different places different races different gender different everything <laughs> you need to like people who cannot communicate i thought of l learning sign language myself but i can't do that i'm just terrible at learning languages right now yeah so um because i just want to be able to communicate with everyone there is to communicate to you know um i'm a person who likes to talk so i like to like i like to communicate i like to talk i, I think it's obvious on this channel you guys you, you guys have been like like you've, been, like you've been subscribed to the channel for like a while so i love to talk so you should not just i'm not just talking about myself right now i'm talking about you guys before you plan to travel anywhere in the world you need to learn how to accept people's culture as well accept people for who they are be less judgmental right so that's where the intercultural um, communication comes in you know how to communicate with people even though they don't understand the language that you speak like at my place of work <laughs> Even in school, there are people who can who are like they barely speak English. You guys, I think I've mentioned here that my English has been going like this 
like down down because I kind of I'm speaking broken English, like broken broken. Like you have to break the English to the to the most breaking point <laughs> to communicate with these people. So and this is because I'm I'm kind of like intercultural and Nigeria actually my home country actually prepared me for this because Nigeria is like intercultural. There are people from different same country but different um tribes. So you need to like learn how to communicate, associate with these people. So thank God I'm from almost a cultural country so it kind of like helps me here so you should learn how to you know be um communicate with people regardless of where they are from so sometimes i there are some things i say the words that i speak that sometimes i ask myself did i just say that because you actually need to like bring yourself down to like communicate with people especially especially if you, it's kind of like for work you need to communicate like it's you just have to communicate and learn how to use language the language that that you and the, the person you're trying to communicate to understand i remember there is a time i was trying to communicate with um a ukrainian girl and i literally had to go to my google translate i downloaded ukraine language like sort of because ukraine language was not in my google translate at all and she had to type what she was trying to like tell me and i had to like translate it to english for me to understand so you need to like do all these things you need to learn how to be as like accept people's culture as well so you need to have these personal skills to survive abroad all right and the sixth thing on my list is approaching people now this is your manner of approach it might, you might not think it is cute you might think you don't need it but you actually need it because there are times where you might be lost you need to ask questions you need directions you just need to talk to somebody and because you lack manner of approach or you don't know how to approach let's remove manner of approach because some people can be rude and saucy and all of that like you don't know how to approach people at all you'd rather keep to yourself it is not good for you you're not going to like i'm not saying you're not going to survive you definitely you're going to survive but you just need all these skills to be able to have an easy life in the abroad you understand <laughs> like in abroad so um yeah i remember times where i was lost in the forest lost going to the so many places lost going to the bank lost going to so many places especially when i got here like when i first got here and i know how many times i had to approach people old people young people you know there, there are even times that i was lost myself and i was just on my phone trying to check google map and some people would approach me and tell me oh you look lost do you need something you know so you need to learn how to approach people to help your life to help make things easy for you do you understand yeah that's it so the seventh thing on my list is teamwork aha personally i'm a person who loves to I, I i can do my personal things work personally on my own but i also love teamwork i feel like teamwork when two or three persons are like together in a team and trying to like get something done I mean you get to learn different ways of getting this particular thing done because we are all different and the way we reason the way we think the way we solve problems are also different so you kind of like learn in as much as you're contributing you kind of like learn from different people as well so this is why i love teamwork a lot and teamwork makes the work easy and faster and better you know so you need to learn how to work in a team <laughs> When you get here, you're going to be having lots of assignments. If you're coming as a student, you're going to get assignments, group assignments, a lot of group assignments. And if you're coming here for work, or even though you're here for studies, but you have to work, of course, you need to learn how to work with people because there's no way you can work alone. You have to work with people, whatever job it is that you do, the nurse, a tech, um, tech person, whatever it is that you do, you have to work with people. It is like something that it's just i think it's just life generally so um you need to learn team work you need it's it's you guys please i think this should be like the top of my list but no i'm not like putting this in any any order so they are all important okay the eighth skill on my list that you need to learn is adaptability oh my goodness this one <laughs> you need to learn how to adapt here in 
we were near me here in, in Lapland especially weather it's like it's like all around it's crazy so I'm just using weather right now because I just I need something you guys can like kind of like understand faster or easier you need to adapt to the winter you need to learn how to adapt to summer spring autumn like <sighs> adapt to the weather you get but I'm not talking about the weather right now you need to learn how to adapt to the environment you find yourself things are never going to I'm not saying never never like I'll Mm, how do I say it? Like things might not go the way you plan them to go. I mean, that's life, right? So I know we all plan for things to go the way we want them to go, but sometimes things might not go the way we plan for them to go. So you always have to like kind of like learn how to adapt in whatever situation, whatever environment that you find yourself this way. You're not like kind of like heartbroken things are not like you're not putting yourself under unnecessary pressure you're not overthinking things and it just makes life easy for everybody for you in particular for me as well you know so learn how to adapt you're in a workplace where they all speak spanish learn how to adapt you're in a workplace where they they don't speak um let's say they all speak finnish learn how to adapt you're in a workplace where they are not they don't smile learn how to adapt you're in a workplace where they're like talkatives they talk too much learn how to adapt you're in a workplace or you're in, you're in a classroom or your classmates where nobody talks to anybody everybody just finds their business learn how to adapt you understand you have a roommate who talks too much or who doesn't talk talk at all who likes things to be kept in a particular way you know learn how to adapt do you understand so adapt adaptability goes a long way to like helping us like just survive as humans as people you know so yeah that's why it is on my list you understand <laughs> the eighth thing on my list is stress management my goodness this one is like crazy because you need to your head is like always going around in circles you're like thinking about different things and you need to do so many things at so many times sometimes you need to do like one or two things two, three things at the same time you need to learn how to manage your stress levels my goodness it is stressful living abroad trust me it is stressful schooling yeah it is stressful working it is it is <laughs> it is stressful schooling and working but you have to make it work right so you need to learn how to manage your stress levels uh, like just stress management in, in like in general i mean it's going to help you from you know depression <laughs> yeah so the tenth thing i think i've lost count but i'm just i'm just going to talk whatever it is i'm just going to say it so another thing on my skills list is diys you need to have the skill of doing things yourself personally i make my hair myself yeah i can cut my hair i've cut my hair as well i bob my husband's hair do you understand i implant my hair i do things that i have to do in the house like if there's something that is broken you need to fix it if your shoe is um it spoils you need to fix it i sew my clothes as well with needle and thread i need i do like you know knitting you use wool and knit i you know you just have to learn how to do things yourself do not rely on anybody i mean when you travel abroad you cannot rely on anybody because if you decide to call people to help you do these things the amount you're going to charge is going to be outrageous like it's not cheap it doesn't come cheap at all so you need to learn how to do things yourself and be self-reliant rely on yourself completely and trust youtube to to save you from all your troubles <laughs> youtube is going to teach you how to do everything there is like like i've learned a lot of things from youtube learn how to do a lot of things from youtube so you guys learn how to do things yourself learn how to rely on yourself learn how to basically everything there is to do is, is there something wrong in your apartment is there something wrong with the cooker is there something wrong with your bike fix it learn how to fix it i remember the time when i was cycling and something went off on my bike i remember when i started cycling when i was very young i fixed it i remember how we used to fix it then in nigeria and i just fixed it here and it worked on my bike 
okay so instead of me going to the bicycle store or bicycle shop or repair shop to pay 30 euros to fix that thing for me I fixed myself and I saved myself 30 freaking euros you understand so you need to learn how to do things yourself okay and do not say um let me leave you guys with this never say never okay never say oh i'm too old to learn this never say oh there's no time to learn this you can always do anything you say to yourself that you would do you can like accomplish anything you decide to accomplish trust me do not like look down on yourself do not limit yourself to you know the less things around you always aim for like the great great things the greater things and you're going to get them okay so i'll see you on my next video you guys please do not forget to learn these things and even though you're not planning you don't want to travel abroad these skills would help you in life generally it doesn't have to be because you want to travel abroad you understand so i leave you guys to learn the skills and yeah i guess some of you would tell me in the comment section later on about what you've learned or what you you know how to do and you can also leave it in the comment section let me know what you know how to do what you're perfect at doing and of course you can also be jack of all trades don't let anybody um laugh at you for being a jack of all trades okay it works all right you don't have to be perfect perfect in anything in particular anything like you don't have to be perfect in a specific field you can know different things and just you know know everything <laughs> anyways i'll see you in my next video bye bye